Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Headcrack After Hours, man. Is a unsung hero in the hip hop game. And if you ain't seen this man perform live, you missing out. You got a brand new project out right now. He's going to tell you all about it. Make some noise one time. Translate. For sure, for sure, for sure. What's happening? What's happening? Bro, it's been a long time coming, man. Hey, man. Glad to be here, man. See, finally, I'm finally. I'm looking at the calendar. I think I've been trying to get you in here for le- We're almost at the 90 day mark. Uh, but it's it been happened. a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. But, but hey, it's, man. We it's cool. Sometimes made it you got to let it build. For sure, for sure. And you definitely got a hell of a momentum going on right now with this new record, Catch This Wave with mm-hmm. T.I. Shout yep. out to the video on that. Yeah, man. That that was, that was video was like a long time coming, man. Like I had the idea to kind of recreate the Coming to America vibe, man. And we uh, linked with my, my director, Carl, and Southern Bread, man. We made it happen. So shout out to Tip. Shout out to the officials for producing that record. And uh, man, we just rolling, bro. Ain't it dope to be like in a position in your life where you could like think of an ill idea, right? And, and make it happen. Execute it. Make it happen, man. And, and really, man, that's really what I'm all about is execution. Like, like whenever we first sat down and had the idea, it like took a minute to get everybody on board. But when everybody got on board, I think we we kind of executed. You it had to fast. talk people into it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't just go like that. Video wasn't you know the 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 cheapest video in the world. So it's like you know you know you got to definitely go to your working parts and make sure everybody on the same page. So, gotcha. but but uh. Um, I think I think really just being honest, it was a big learning experience for me. Like uh, creatively, I probably would have done some things differently. I probably would have made it a two day shoot, but but ultimately, you know, I I think we got we got the point. So you knocked it all out in one day. Yeah, all in all in one day, man. And and we shooting towards a million views right now. I don't know where we at, but yeah, we we definitely getting there. Well, congrats it's, on the payoff on yeah, that. Yeah, you know, and it's ill because like when you look at like you know like the nineties, you know, you're like, yo, this video cost a million dollars. Right, right, right. That. We at a spot now where we got to do way more with way less. Way less. But right. I think that pushes the bounds of our creativity. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So like, I think I think too like back then to get the same effects, you had to do a lot. You had to have a lot bigger crew and a lot. You know what I'm saying. Now like drones and things like that and technology makes videos a lot cheaper and, and i think if you just have a creative idea i think now it's just about the idea mm-hmm. and and it don't matter how it can be a 500 hundred dollar video if it's a dope idea it's gonna be better than a five hundred thousand dollar video where they just got bottles and women you know what i'm saying so yeah. you know it's just all about the creativity these days to me I think one of the best examples of doing a video for nothing was you remember when erica badu dropped window seat and she was just t- taking her clothes off. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Like it, that. That <laughs> cost nothing except for her just being naked in public. But it, I mean, the cost was internal. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because right. that was bold. Right. Because I was privileged. I can't even say that. But you, you, you was there. No, but, but I saw the I saw the raw footage. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I saw, wow. I saw, I saw wow. the raw footage. There's raw footage of that. Yeah, and it's like, whoa! Like that really happened. No one was in on it. Wow. She just went for it and that created a dope moment in time. You know, like and and just once again pushing the levels of creativity. That's crazy. So let's take it to the origin story. For those who are maybe hearing your name for the first time, or maybe they seen you on the cover of a magazine back in the day, because you were one of the uh the fresh uh double XL freshmen at one time, no? No. Nah, okay. Nah, but, but hey, but we can we can just I mean keep that energy about me though. But okay. yeah, nah, nah, nah. Uh you know what's crazy? We uh <laughs> Back like a few years ago, man, we did like some lame shit, bro. I don't know if I can curse. No, I'll, uh, I'll bleep game strong. But but we uh we had uh bought some um we bought like an ad space in one of the double XL freshman covers, and we had like an ad in like the back of it, and okay. um so if you buy ad space, people at double XL don't really know who you are for real. Right. Like you, they they just sold ad space. The money. So it's like. We were going around town like, yo, I'm 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 in the double XL freshman cover, like we're we're in the that magazine. I wasn't on the cover, you know what I'm saying? But so maybe you heard that. that I, I don't might know. have been where I made the connection. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I think I merged that. Yeah, that, that but with that. but it was funny because we had like these marketing people and we was telling them that we was in that that magazine. So they was reaching out to their people at double XL and they were like, we don't know, <laughs> we don't know who that is, bro. <laughs> but um, but but yeah, nah, I, I've never been a double XL freshman, and like now at this point. <clears throat> Shout out to Double XL, but don't even matter. I, I don't even really want to. I don't even know if I even want to be. I mean, it's great exposure and like the doors open up to you a lot more. But like, it's like I don't know. It's like they they go for a different type of thing now. So Yo, just, you know. as a as a rap nerd myself, there have been times where I've gotten appalled by the you know by the people that they choose. I mean, sometimes they, it makes sense, but when you see them freestyles be released, mm-hmm. and it's like whoa, It'd be terrible. You know, like. 
we're we're representing the entire world in the landscape of hip hop because people look at America like, hey, it's it's actually starting to dwindle down because everybody started to do their own thing. Right. It's kind of like when the South came into their own, like you know, Japan's doing their own thing. It's almost to the point where they're about to not even need us anymore. Right. But I feel like we got to a point where we stopped representing the best and brightest that the culture had to offer and we just went for the shiny thing right 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 whatever you know was viral because of whatever silly shenanigan they were up to exactly exactly man really it's just we got to get back to the real dog like like artists that make you feel feel proud to be yourself you know what i mean like early kanye made me feel that way like early kanye changed my life like that wasn't it wasn't a gimmick it wasn't a joke it was all like real real talking like that's what i aim for in my artistry like i want people to sit back and listen to my music and and feel like they can relate you know what i mean like 100 percent. so that's really where that's really all i care about well in addition to um you know like actually like hearing some of the music before seeing you live my first time seeing you live was at an unplugged show with scotty atl shout mm -hmm. out to him mm -hmm. um yeah shout out to scotty you a hell of a live performer bro it's like a lot of people get lost in the instruments, like the drums will drown them out. Yeah. Or you can't hear the singer. Shout out to uh Honesty, honesty yeah. in we the got, house. We got honesty in the building. Yo, too. her yeah, voice was cutting through. Cutting like, through, oh, man. The, keys, the horns in the whole nine. And, and, man, and, and man, I'm I'm so thankful because that was off of like we had like maybe three or four rehearsals and then like honesty came in probably like on the on the second, second and third one. So like she came in and just helped us out a lot. Um but yeah, man, that was a dope show, man. Like I you know what, SOB is one of my favorite places to perform, man, because it just sounds the best like the sound system in there sounds good and from the audience like everything you can hear everything you know what i mean like a lot of venues be shaky a little bit but sometimes it be the places that don't look like much on the inside that yeah. like really have so much heart in the sound yeah that stuff bleeds through yeah that's key that's yo key. but you know so the performance is on point your beat selection it's crazy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, on the joint fist, mm -hmm. you had a couple of the lyrics. It's like, we've been afflicted, convicted, predicted. Evicted, evicted restricted. restricted. It's, it's never, never been, been simplistic. simplistic. Even though we gifted, uplifted, artistic, artistic exquisite, exquisite, holistic. But we treat it like it's sadistic. Yeah. Deck. I flipped this table <laughs> over if I could. Like, Man, it's real talk, man. Who, That's Who like, inspired you? Like, you know, lyrically, who are you looking at? Because you, it's clear that you didn't study what the patterns of radio were. Yeah, doing stuff like that. Really, man. I my favorite rapper is probably Andre three thousand, and then probably Kanye West. Um, but really, man, like I feel like my gift is saying something, and like what I say, and saying it so it hit people in like a certain way. Mm -hmm. Like I don't like that's the only thing that I try to focus on. So when I'm writing verses, like I'm not even really getting inspired from anybody. I'm really just trying to say something to somebody, but. The, a, a, a rapper that I aspire to be on their level is Andre 3000. Like, I hear verses from him, and I'm like, I want to flip tables over. Yeah. So, so There's been know. times where I've heard Andre 3000 rap, and it's like, yo, why am I even doing this? Why am I even doing like, this? Yeah, right. Even right. when he doesn't rap. Like, when he did that, those two songs over the... Uh, the mama, the, the mama, mama... The... Uh, uh, so, song for... Mama, song for mama. mama. Yeah. I was mad about that though. It hit me here in the yeah. heart. I had just lost my mom. So oh, okay. like that okay. song connected with me a little bit. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Than, you know, normal people were, but just to ha one person that had that much level of artistry. Yeah. Like Andre 3000 being who he is right now is like Superman just deciding to walk. Right, right. You know he could fly, but he wants to walk. Walk. And it's right like, now, dude, yeah. come on, come man. On, come man. back hey, out here, yeah, man. We give, need you. We need that bad. We need that bad. Like I like the reason why I said I was upset with those songs, cause when they drop, I'm thinking that he's dropping. Some rap records, so right. I'm I'm going into it thinking that these are rap records he about to drop, and it was just like it was like some kind of just creative. He was just getting off some some stuff, but sorry to hear that though, man. I I, I lost my mom when I you know oh, when sorry I was on to yeah, so we part of a very uh, unfortunate yeah. club to be. Yeah, in, but man. It adds character to the music if you For know sure. how to channel that pain correctly, man. That stuff bleeds out into the you know to the wax pretty well. Right, right, if you right. Know how to utilize it. Right, right. So at the origin of your career, now you're originally from. Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville, Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. Born in born in Albany though. Oh, Albany, Georgia. Yeah, Albany. Then you go to Huntsville, Alabama. Raised in Huntsville and then back in Atlanta. Yeah. So, so so Huntsville raised me, Atlanta made me, I feel like. Got you. So does that is that what created the name Trans Lee? Because you that, that's my real name. Really? Yeah, it's my real name. Your real name is Trans. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't have made that that name up. Yeah, nah. And and I'm the third too, so this it's been it's been a Trans Lee kicking around since what my granddad was born in like the thirties or something mm -hmm. like that. So, yeah. That'd be ill if you went by Translee the third. 
it just adds like a, just a, a smidge of regalness to it. Like, <laughs> Trans Lee the third. There were two before me. I like that, but <laughs> but yeah, man, I, I've been rolling with Trans Lee, man. It's crazy because when I first started. Um, like people, people in high school used to call me like T Lee, and I was gonna go by that. And then I, I was trying to make another name. I was gonna go by the, I was gonna go by numbers, but that was super whack. So I really like my music is truth based. So I was like, man, I'm just gonna go by my name. It's you know makes it way easier to Google mm -hmm. than numbers. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, numbers would have never came. Up. You gonna yeah, pop like, right on up after yeah. you just keep like once you start typing trans, it's gonna be gender, then phobia. Right. Then if you keep going with them letters, you get right. the Lee, right. and you're the only rapper out there like right. hanging in that field. And then man, you, you know what's crazy? Like and really only on like World Star. Like when you drop videos on work, cause that, that's when you get just the the twelve year old kid just commenting and stuff like. Everybody, why did he pick that name? He sounds like a transsexual Asian person or something like that. Like, <laughs> I get all type of stuff, man. But it's like, man, that's my name. Like, your name is your name. My name is my name. You know what I'm saying? But, but, um, but, but yeah, man, it's it's, it's definitely. I feel like it's been a positive. No doubt. Now you're still part of the Grand Hustle family. Yes, for sure. Um, Shout out to Tip. And, and, and you never know who's part of that blanket, you know, mm -hmm. from year to year. So currently, it's you. Is Young Dro still over there? Yeah. Oh yeah, Dro. You know, Dro is like grandfathered in. Like, ain't no grand hustle without Dro. But um, Comes I mean, with the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pre yeah, pretty much. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, there's like grand hustle, and then you know we have we have our like hustle gang things going on. But you know, everybody pretty much pretty, pretty much kind of doing their own thing. But it's always Dro, like Trade the Truth, uh, B O B. Me and B me and Bob got a lot of work uh together. Um, Tokyo Jets. Uh, and then you know London J, Book, Ra Ra, uh, everybody, Five Mice, Bryce, every, you know what I'm saying? But it's really like a family, you yeah. know what I mean? Like it's 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 you know like it's just artists kind of like doing their own thing. But everybody, when we all come together, it's definitely a, a great time. We we did that tour um, about a, a year and a half ago. That was really dope. Thirty six cities, and that really like that really taught me a lot you know what i mean like just getting on the road and, and and going to see how having a real fan base can carry you the rest of your life just watching tip fan base so um it's, it's definitely been a dope experience being around grand hustle is that and, uh, your first major tour yeah yeah because like, we did our own tour uh probably like uh, like three four years ago and we did like five or six schools it's just it was a small, it was like just me and my DJ and my manager, we just hit the road. But uh, but that was my first time like actually going, yeah, going on a tour, it's set up, everything is A1, like hotels, tour and bus. And it's so much better when you don't have to worry about the promotion Man, and all the beautiful. other ants it was, and everything. It's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like we would just wake up and like, yo, y'all got to go do uh, Fox 5 tomorrow morning to talk about the show. And then when you leave, you got to go do an interview to talk about it. It's, everything was just set up. It's almost like too good to be true. Because whenever we got off the road, it was like... <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> Can't wait to go back and yeah, go do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I get it. Yo, I remember like when I was in high school, I went on tour with Y Clef. Like, oh, wow. I, I did a remix with somebody that liked it so much. He's like, yo, we want this kid on the road. Wow. I go to 12 cool. cities. I'm having... I'm doing all the stuff that you ever hear about people doing on tour. Yeah. Like, yo, I can't believe it. I'm having sex in a room where other people are having sex. <laughs> it's like, it was all the, all of the debauchery that you would just it, expect rap to be. I'm like 17. Exactly. The tour was over. I went back to work at Target when it was all said and oh, done. It's like, man. yo, this can't be anti life. Anticlimactic. Damn, man. So anticlimactic. But, you know, at the end of the day, like, you know, you do what you love. You keep grinding. You keep doing it. Right. This momentum you got right now, I know is going to spark some other, like, you know, situations for oh, you. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Man, we we uh after Freedom Summer, I think Freedom Summer was like great progression for me because it it jumped into like another realm of like people noticing it like for the first time like you know how like you'll like mention a celebrity name in the song you may not think they'll ever even hear hear it. This was the first album where every celebrity I named end up hitting me back about it or like saying something to me about it like yo i heard it thank you or like even with the angela yee line like she hit me like yo what what the, what the hell are you talking about you know what i'm saying so it was like a thing where i felt i felt real progress um on on this project so i feel like the next project um we are uh well before i even drop my next project i'm planning like a real big a big give back but but uh i think that it'll just catapult the whole movement, the whole label, DNC into a whole nother space, really. Yo, and even to like blur the world of hip hop into also acting too. Like, I mean, you got a record with Amari Hardwick. Yeah. People can walk around 
Saying that. And, and say that, yeah, man. Shout out to my manager, Darius, man. He actually uh, uh, reached out to him and kind of stayed on him and, and played him the record. And he actually jumped on that record before I even met him. Um, and then uh, and then whenever he came to Atlanta to shoot Nobody's Fool, uh, he literally, after he got off set, he came to our crib and like every night for like a, a week straight. And we just kind of knocked out records and just vibed out, talked a lot, just talked about the industry. And, and I learned a lot from him. He learned a lot from me. And now we like, that's like my big brother for that's real, for real. Brother. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, uh, shout, so to o, shout out man. to old man. Ghost, for Yo, real, for real. Such a good actor, man. You so, yeah, so yeah. sorry to bother you, right? Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I, I did, man. He actually held that that movie because, like, Tiffany Haddish is like, wow, like, you know what I'm saying? And he, he was like the. Wait, no, sorry to bother you is the one with Lakeith Stanfield. Le, oh, Lakeith Stanfield. I saw that one too. Yeah. What's the one that with, with Tiffany Haddish? That's Nobody's Fool. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I saw I saw that one too. That was crazy how he had to have the the, the different voice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I don't even like. To even be able to play that role, like you gotta just mentally get in the whole nother space. But yeah, he's dope, man. It's crazy because he's like that in person too. Like he's really like that. Like he'll he just gets real deep with like everything he's saying. Like it's it's, it's amazing. But he, he, also, but he used to play ball too. Like yeah, football for, for, real, for, for real. Georgia. Yeah, yeah, you used yeah. to play right. Yeah, uh, when I like, I, I play I play basketball. basketball. Yeah, I played football like a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. Like I was a mean cornerback, but man, I, basketball is my thing. You still nice on the hoops, man. Too nice. We can get it in whenever you want to. Oh man, I'm, I be telling people all the time, man. But a lot of people don't be wanting to smoke. I want to put together a league because, like, you know, you got the you got the ludicrous basketball game that always happens, and mm -hmm. they just kind of like slap people in there, like mm -hmm. whether they could play or not. Like I think Lil Terrio played one year, and I'm like, eh. yeah. But I was out on the court <laughs> this year whenever they they was warming up. Like if you go on my Instagram, you you can see me giving Lou Will a little bit of the business. But but uh, but I will probably like I'm trying to play in the game next year, like. Uh, shout out to Theory. They they put it on, and like the day of, they were like, "You should have told me you wanted to play." Like, I didn't know I could have just asked to play. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes but, you gotta like really just put it out. There. Yeah, you gotta, like, drop yeah. Instagram videos of you rapping and playing basketball just for them. I'm to playing. Put it now. I'm, I'm putting it out there. I'm, I'm playing next year. Man, shoot, yeah. me next year you can probably mess around getting the uh, All Star joint. Like the real, you know, like Rap nice. City is in it. These are really and, yo, and for a person who likes underground hip hop, yeah, for that's them to big. Be like yo, they got Rap City Rhapsody. playing in the All Star game. Oh, that's big. That's that's big. But see, man, rap dog, rap is like, rap is becoming so synonymous with sports. Like we was just look, like we was looking at like the All Star game back in like the nineties. If you just look at the intro, it's just like Michael Jordan. We have like in here, everybody's just clapping. Now they got Kevin Hart on the motherfucking. It's a whole. <laughs> it's, it's it's crazy. It's absurd, man. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I think that the opportunities for music and sports merging going forward is gonna be crazy. Yeah, like Charlotte's gonna be so lit. Yeah. During All Star, All -Star weekend. weekend, if y'all yeah. see this later, Charlotte was lit. Charlotte was lit. You going? Hey, man. It was shootings. Hey, man. I feel it. I feel that. That's the only scary part about All Star. Like, you know, like, something about Charlotte. Like, yo, know, oh, yeah. the gun you're go right, off right. in ain't Charlotte. That, ain't that where Dolph got, got shot up at? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. I think uh, uh, youngsters still got to go to court for that situation. And you know what's crazy? Charlotte's such a clean city, too. Like, it's like a, it's like a, Clean Atlanta, like whenever I went, with like <laughs> no people, in, like not a lot of people downtown. Like it's like if Thanos snapped his fingers in Atlanta, it's Charlotte. Exactly. You know they got all the nice buildings, all the cool things to do, but yeah, less traffic. Less traffic, no people. Is like you know I ain't even remember seeing no homeless people. Like it was just a clean city. I think they put them away. Probably so. For the weekend. You know what? They was arresting the homeless people here before Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Like literally way up on Claremont, they was getting there. Didn't you say? Yeah, they was on Claremont getting arrested. Like they cleaned the city up. I was proud of Atlanta though. Yo, we we did a good job. Yeah, Traf it cleaned traffic up was nice. less crazy than it was on normal weeks during the Super Bowl. Man, we just was talking about that. Like I literally, I Ubered that whole week, but didn't going back to, to, I didn't even really need to. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because it wasn't that crazy. And shout out to the HOV lane. The HOV lane really was moving the whole weekend. Yeah. Yep. So you must live far if you got to use that on a regular basis. Claremont. Okay, oh, that's yeah. not too bad. That's yeah. too bad. So, what does Transley need to proceed and go to the next level? What, like, what's that element you feel like you're personally missing to be the household name that every, um, that you deserve to be? Uh, I really just wanna wanna uh, focus on my branding a little bit more, just being 100 percent transparent, um, having more than just music to attach myself to, which is why I'm I'm 
in in the process of of finding that i just said i just want to have more of a spirit of service mm -hmm. so i want to um i want to start this this give back and i'm actually just for people that are listening when you when you hear this i want you to reach out to me on instagram um and people that want to help out or like maybe intern or like just want to be a part of of this but i want to do like a uh a uh instrument drive where we get people to donate instruments and then we just at the end of the end of the drive we just give them back and like i want to partner with like gathering spy places like that and um and kind of put that together for probably around like august okay um so and maybe you know if, if you can Bro, be a I part of it honored okay to help assist in that situation okay because, definitely like you know we put so much money into other things, other things in, yeah. in most cities. Like, yeah. you know, like, you know, kids don't got books. Let's throw up a new stadium, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We got to focus on the kids. Mm -hmm. Kids who don't got nothing to do, mm -hmm. they're going to be the ones who are going to find something yeah. to do and it's not always and, good. And they need instruments, bro. Like, like really, if we want to say that we want to do something about the music or them making whack music so we may think or whatever like okay well give them instruments. Like, what can a 10-year-old do with a guitar? You know what I'm saying? And, and also creating ways that they can take lessons or you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like not just throwing a guitar in their hands so and it don't take um, that much in some cases some it people don't will donate the mm -hmm. stuff willingly yeah you know so i, I, I feel like guitars if, right now that i am not playing and i would glad those i will be the first person in line we got, dropping it off we got our first we got our first donator right here thank it, you the strings are still tuned because i ain't touched it that's perfect <laughs> so that's there perfect. that go that's so perfect. all right man people won't follow you they go where uh at translee t-r-a-n-s-l-e-e -E. That's on all social media platforms. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, that's it. And uh, producers, beats, DNC, MP3, at Gmail. Um, follow Honesty Speaks. Honesty Speaks, spelled just how it sounds. Um, DNC, my label, man. DNC, Digital Native Culture, man. Shout out to Chris, Todd, Darius, the officials, Javon, everybody. Gray. Uh, Gray is actually on Fist, the, okay. the song you brought up. The dude that's, that's on the hook. Mm -hmm. You know Gray. The dude, he, he got a beard. He be going viral rapping all the time. Like he be, I'm going to pull him up. V, he's, a, he's a vegan. He had the vegan Thanksgiving, but he's way beyond that. But... I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna show you his stuff. We gonna but, connect. We gonna build yeah. and we gonna get some things done. And uh so. and uh, it's a singer called Asha that we're working with too. Uh, so you know we 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 just trying to grow our team, man. And, and like we partner with Grand Hustle. So Tip is really just a believer in what we got going on. You know what I mean? So shout out to him for sure, for sure. And um yeah, we just gonna cool. we gonna keep on moving. Well, yo, Translee's in the house, man. I want to make some new believers for those who never heard the music. I'm gonna throw a beat on one take. Hey, give me um. What you got? What you got like? I could do that, yeah. 